It's true what Larkin says about parents. They do mess you up. They don't mean to, usually, but they do. By the time I'm eight, dad's mania and anxiety are kicking in. And that, mixed with a newfound fervor for Christianity, makes things lively. By age 11, bedtime stories are out and tales of hellfire are in. According to dad, me and everyone I know are going to suffer eternal agony unless we turn to Jesus. Oh man, I could save myself. What about all the people on TV? All the players on Match of the Day? Would I have to wait in the car park after games? Mr. Cantona, kicking people is a sin. Yes, even if they do support Crystal Palace. By now, Dad is relentless, and the panic attacks are regular. Running around the house, screaming, delirious, and things deteriorate. By 12, 13, I'm crying constantly, struggling to get out of bed. And by 14, I'm starving myself. At 15, I have to have a year off school and be treated at a psychiatric ward. Complex PTSD is a variation on post-traumatic stress disorder. We associate that with people affected by specific incidents in war or after an assault or car crash. The complex variety refers to those who endured repeat abuse, usually at the hands of caregivers. It may have been a religious parent, a violent parent, one that drank, sexually abused you, scapegoated, shamed or just ignored you. One common sign of complex PTSD is an intensely critical inner voice that just won't get off your back. You know the one that says things like, you're useless, you've achieved nothing. One negative thought will kick in and then they'll all come out to play. Oh, and you look rubbish naked. Oh, by the way, everybody hates you. I can't believe you just stood on that snail and you like snails. Another sign is flashbacks. And these are often more subtle than specific memories. A situation you're in now will remind you, even subconsciously, of a time that you felt overwhelmed. For me, it's social gatherings. When I walk into a room, I often feel like I'm about to be humiliated. So my fight-flight instinct kicks in hard. At parties, I'll often go to the bathroom several times just to feel calm. I love bathrooms. Sitting on the bath, listening to the party downstairs, <laughs> I practice bathroom sound effects too, like the sound the toilet roll makes when you pull off the last sheet. <laughs> After that, I'm okay for a bit, but then someone new will come up and say, Hello, I'm Ted. I'll get all adrenalized and just leave. There is no danger, but the psyche doesn't know the difference. That's complex PTSD in a nutshell. Sorry, Ted. Other signs a depression, substance abuse, isolating yourself, and avoiding relationships. You may have no clue why you feel any of this, but there is help. Self-help books are a great place to start, especially if you're nervous about therapy or talking to a friend. Therapy's been great too. Someone to talk to, help join the dots, give names to things. I also try to stay healthy and clear-headed. Vegan diet, exercise, and meditation. And of course, stand up. Talk about facing your fear of humiliation. I did get to make some peace with my dad before he died a few years ago. A tumor on the brain felt strangely right for a man so lost in his own mental chaos. I did love him. He meant well. He was just negligent and confused, and it caused damage. It's important to know where the blame lies. These feelings aren't your fault, and it can be helped. So see it like you see any injury. Listen to it. Give it what it needs. And remember, it's okay to feel bad. But fear, anxiety, anger, depression ruin all of the good stuff, all of the fun. And this is supposed to be fun. <laughs>